G'day, I was trying to find some reviews of this RapidX 100 amp power battery online and I couldn't find anyone from someone who's bought it so I decided to pick one up, pick one up myself and test it out. So just for disclosure, I'm not an electrical engineer or a battery expert. Um, I do have a bit of experience with the 18650 style lithium ion batteries. I have no relationship with the supplier or brand and I've bought this battery with my own money. Uh, one other thing is you'll uh, see is the testing methodology could be improved. So the product, um, it's listed as that um, in on eBay. I bought it um, in uh, October 2021 for 288 Australian dollars. It's rated for 100 amp hours at 12.8 uh, volts. So 1,280 watt hours and it's um, standard discharge of 25 amps, 50 amps max. So that's pretty low. All right, here's a rolling screenshot. And these are the specifications that were shipped with the battery. Um, a little bit confusing is this second charge voltage line uh, that has listed at 10 volts, um, which I can only assume is sort of the discharge cutoff voltage. So that's when the BMS switches off supply um, because of the, you know to protect the cells. The other thing is this charger line, which is 14.6 volts at 20 amps, which contradicts the line below it of 25 amp standard charging current. Uh, the test setup I use a Victron uh, 25, uh, sorry, Victron 7515 charge controller um, powered by a regular sort of household panel. The test load is a 55 watt halogen automotive um, light bulb, uh, which is not the most accurate thing to be testing with, but uh, it's the only thing I had available. And I didn't have an ammeter to actually test the specific amperage over that because my multimeter is not working. So this is the uh, test rig and it's purely based on time the, um, yeah, and the guesstimated 55 watt voltage uh, wattage. So the results is um, a rated capacity of 100 amp hours. We actually found it to be 91.3 amp hours and with that um, you know, times by the wattage uh, you, you would have expected it to run for 21.82 hours but we found it ran for 19.92 hours. There was 23 data points taken in total and uh, the voltage was tested with both the Victron um, charge controller as well as the multimeter which worked on the voltage setting. And that's the um, data points graphed out. And as you can see, it would follow the, yeah, it does follow the typical lithium discharge profile. So the good, um, it does seem to have close to advertised capacity. Uh, externally, it seems to be well made. Um, it would be ideal for low wattage applications. So, you know, things you would use for a camping trip, like a tool battery charger or a um, camp fridge lights or a laptop uh, and the probably the main thing that sort of uh, is good about this is the low price which is 288 australian dollars delivered uh, which um, equates to us 216 dollars uh, the bad uh, it only has a low constant um, output of 25 amps so if you're running a 240 volt inverter, um, you kind of limit it to 300 watt appliances or less than 300 watts. So you can forget microwaves or coffee machines uh, or induction stoves. And you could also surmise that based on that low draw rating and the price that um, the cells that are inside it are not grade A cells. So um, take what from that what you may. Anyway, if this was uh, helpful for you, um, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.